It is a couple days before Thanksgiving and even though my head's exploding and life has just gone to hell in a handcart all around me, I will not th cancel Thanksgiving. So I am depending on my lists, which I do anyway. Even this, this is something I started writing a couple, boy, two weeks ago, I think. First thing I do is I determine who's bringing what. And then I see what I'm responsible for. I do my shopping, I do the cleaning, you know, all that stuff. And then I write out a timeline for what I'm making and when I'm making it. So today is Monday and I'm working on the pie crust. I have a gluten-free pie crust and I have doubled the recipe because one is going to be a pear tart, the other is going to be a pumpkin pie and this gives me enough to do both. They're both going to go in the refrigerator and I'm not going to bake either of them until Wednesday, which is part two, and it's on my list. So Monday is pie crust and corn muffins. Not sure if I'm making the corn muffins because I find my time is much more crunched than I expected. Um, cream sauce is on the list for today as well because that's something that I could even stick in the freezer if I wanted to. But that, that's kind of going to the back burner also because it's one of those things I can be flexible about. On Tuesday, I will be tofurkey. Okay, so I picked up tofu. I'm doing something with that. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I'll do something. I am defrosting the pumpkin that I already pureed on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I will brine the turkey, a vegetarian's favorite part. I will do all the baking. I will prep the veggies, and I'll do any last-minute cleaning. That way, on Thursday, I get up, I set the table, I, do, I, I stick the bird in the oven and do everything else I need to do, and it'll all be fine. It will be fine. I insist it will be fine. I will um, be back in a few minutes to show you, actually, you know what, I'll tell you what the ingredients are right now, and then I'll show you how it looks. This, I because I've doubled the recipe, if I didn't, I'm going to tell you what it is if I didn't double the recipe, and that's the way I'll have it posted on the website. It is two cups of Bob's Red Mill almond flour, which is one of my staples. I've always got that in the pantry. And lately, I'm really digging this one-to-one -one mix. It's versatile, it holds up well, and if you don't have any sensitivities to rice, you know, anybody who can't have grains is not going to have this. But um, if you can, it's, it's really pretty nice. I, I've got the two of them together in this bowl. So I've got, I have four cups of the um, almond flour and one cup of the red mill, but the, re the original recipe is two cups of the almond flour and half a cup of the one-to-one. -one. I have two sticks of butter that I've softened. I have, although it's only going to be one for the single recipe, I have the water, and for a single recipe it would be two tablespoons I have salt. For a single recipe, it would be half a teaspoon. I have vinegar. And for me, today, I used the last of my coconut vinegar. I really love this stuff. It's got a nice, mild taste. And if I hadn't used that, I might have used apple cider. I would not have used balsamic because that's just a little too strong. So this is a tablespoon, and that helps make your crust flaky. The water helps hold it together. And another thing I do that most people don't, I add a teaspoon of sugar, or for me, monk fruit, or swerve, whatever you have. And that's what I'm going to put in the food processor, and I'll be back in a few minutes. So this came together super fast. It is beautiful to behold. This will get divided right down the middle and wrapped in beeswax or whatever you happen to have. And it'll be refrigerated until I pull it out Wednesday night to begin baking. So 
I will post both the recipes on the website. I think I already posted pumpkin pie last year. So I'm going to just post the pear tart this year. And I'll also be baking an apple cake. Um, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, just got to roll with it. That's life. You never know what's around the corner. And uh, as Mr. Rogers said, and you just make the best of things. So I am making pie and I will do that on Wednesday and I'm going to just film as much as I'm able to and uh, what recipe will be on the website. So enjoy. And it's the day before Thanksgiving. I probably shouldn't have had the dishwasher running, but that's the way it goes. It is the day I pulled the um, crusts out of the refrigerator and I pressed the pumpkin pie into the shell. I really wasn't going to deal with any kind of rolling and here's the pear tart. So, I have peeled three pears. The last time I did this I used two large pears. This time I used three small pears. To the pears that are all sliced up, I'm adding the juice of one lemon. I'm adding about a teaspoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of brown monk fruit, and a tablespoon of tapioca starch. You could use whatever you have. If it's uh, cornstarch or uh, potato starch, whatever is in your pantry. That's the way I roll. I got a little piece of the stem here that I'm digging out. because That's not going to taste good. Look into the sink. And now I am coating the pears in this mixture. This is going to make them very delicious. But I want to make sure that the spoonful of uh, brown sugar, monk fruit, breaks up and that everything's got the cornstarch too. That's important. Well, not cornstarch, tapioca starch. Whatever kind of starch. Here we go. So, I got a call from my mom this morning. We've gone from having 6 to 8 to 11. So, I'll have 11 tomorrow. A couple vegetarians for five, six. Huh, half of us are vegetarians. Luckily I got a piece of tofu and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And that's it. So now I'm going to lay it into the tart and I'll show you how it looks. I'm going to do a circular pattern and fold it over. The pumpkin pie, the recipe's already on the website and I've already done a video on that. So feel free to look that up. It's super simple. It's a basic custard added to the pumpkin and it's very delicious. So I'll be right back. I have laid the pears out and when you do this you want to make sure that you've got the pears all facing in the same direction just because it makes it prettier. It's like a pinwheel type design. And now what I'm going to do is make it pretty rustic. I'm not going to take a lot of, um, well I'm going to take time, but I, I'm not going to stress about this crust being perfect. I just want to fold it over so that we don't have pear juice running all over the place. This is pretty. And it's really tasty. This is gluten-free, as low glycemic as eating a pear is going to be, and super flavorful. You could bring this anywhere and be proud. And that is it. So I'll clean up the edges a little bit, but that's how quick and easy that comes together. So I will be back when it comes out of the oven, which it's going in at 350 for about 30 minutes. And it is going to be delish. So I will be back to show you how it looks and to show you the rest of the recipes I'm doing. Beautiful tart has come out of the oven. 
and it's ready for tomorrow. It's cooling off. Actually, that's pretty cool. Pumpkin pie is still cooling. Uh, I think the apple cake is still kind of hot, but I'll show you what it looks like. And that's, um, I didn't talk a lot about that, but that's, that's a pretty good looking apple cake. And I am currently working on, I just finished a cream sauce, which is already on the website. And I'm working on a vegan dish, so I am marinating a block of tofu. And this will go in the oven tomorrow with this sauce that I'm simmering. I I've, I've currently have half a cup of onion and two cloves of garlic. To this, I am adding a can of coconut milk. And I want to get all the lumps out. Turn that up a little bit. I am adding two teaspoons of curry powder. And I may even pull, I've got a, a nice uh, curry paste in the refrigerator that I may end up pulling out. I've also toasted some coconut to put on top of this. And even though I don't use sugar, this is a teaspoon of maple sugar. That is like dehydrated maple syrup, and that is only because at this point, all I have left is confectioner's sugar and, you know, confectioner's monk fruit, and that would just not go in this. And oddly enough, that is what the recipe calls for, the um, maple sugar. And I am not doing my own recipe, so this will not appear on the website. This is from Myra Kornfell's book, The Healthy Hedonist, and she was actually one of my professors when I was in school, so I know this is a recipe I'm going to be able to trust. So if you want the recipe, you got to buy her book, but that is the next thing that goes in. Let's see. Does the lemon go in yet? Got to wait for the sauce to thicken about five minutes and then the lemon juice is going to go in and it's going to be set aside and that is it for me for tonight I've made the desserts I will have made the two sauces I have yet to brine the turkey but that'll be long enough it'll it'll brine overnight I didn't really want to be bringing a turkey into the middle of all this cooking so the turkey will brine overnight and my daughter's actually going to come over and cook the bird and I will then in the morning get up and start prepping vegetables and I'll bring you back to show you how this beautiful tofu dish looks, how everything looks and how I've pulled it all off. So I'll have some of the recipes on the website. Certainly the pear tart will be on the website and um, I, this, the, the apple cake is really the cake that I've made in the past with apple slices. So that's already on the website. The pear tart will be added. Um, that's probably all I'm going to add, but give them a try and enjoy. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. Well, I had to, I posted a couple of the um, dessert recipes and the vegetarian recipes. I am standing out in the walking room. Next time. Yeah, it doesn't work. Thank you. 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 Thank you